The last two years, there have been over 100 lakeshore flood advisories and warnings along the shore of Michigan. That is because of record high water on the Great Lakes. Well, now the water is dropping, but is the trouble over? Our chief meteorologist Dave Rexroth went to the thumb to find out how bad the situation is right now. And Dave, if we can uh, expect something to be done about this problem. You know, they're working on it, but it has been tough. The lake levels don't change as quickly as the weather like it's doing out there right now, but we know that they do change and sometimes drastically. The question is here, now that the water's dropping, how long is it going to stay down? We have beach. With the water levels finally going down on the Great Lakes, some people couldn't be happier. Yeah, we are back. We are all excited. We're expecting even more beach before the summer. When we talked to Jill Laidlaw a year and a half ago, she wasn't in such a good mood. Jill runs Camp Cavell. It's a retreat for underserved people along the shores of Lake Huron in the Lexington area. The record high water had destroyed her beach, undermined her buildings, and threatened the future of the camp. But now she's filling up her summer reservations. We lost all of our community groups, our Girl Scouts, our Boy Scouts, our schools, muscular dystrophy, the foster children. Being able to have them come back, we're gonna have the beach for them. So great news. With the lake levels expected to continue to fall over the next six months, there's no looking back, right? Well, it's not quite that simple, according to Jim Sullivan, an erosion expert from the Army Corps of Engineers. I think it's important to recognize that these shorelines are naturally eroding. He says at a pace of about a foot or two per year. It's, it's the waves that are doing the work, but it's the water levels which dictate what part of the coastal profile erodes. You don't see them every year go back a foot. Uh, it, we might wait 30 years for the next high water cycle. And then when the high water comes up, you lose 30 years worth of your shoreline. That is exactly why we saw such a major impact over the last two years. This last high water on Lake Huron broke a 102-year-old record. If during all those quiet years we forget the erosion cycle, we create problems. Using unstable land or building too close to the coast can come back to haunt us. It's not just a problem for homeowners. Entire communities are severely impacted by the high water and erosion. Ray Mack is the president of the village of Port Sanilac. The harbor wall uh, that's something that's got to get fixed. It's the infrastructure that the people need uh, on a daily basis, their water, their sewer, and obviously uh, recreation on top of that. Ray wants communities that are directly impacted to have a say in the fix going forward. Yeah, I'd love my uh, state uh, senator and representatives uh, to take this uh, as seriously as they're taking the other infrastructure that they're talking about. Most of the country does not have to worry about erosion, but it is a critical factor in the Great Lakes. We are the ones living with this problem. They need to talk about it as, as effectively as they are uh, infrastructure like roads and bridges. So there still is a lot to do before the next high water causes problems. Hopefully it won't happen for another 30 years. Now, however, with the water level down, many can plan on having a great summer along the lakes. It's like doing the yell, we have beach, and <laughs> they are so excited. Jill is very, very happy, and what's kind of interesting in an ironic way here, in a good way, I guess, is that much of the sand in the Great Lakes on the beaches actually comes from erosion. So as the water level drops, the wave action will be able to grab some of that sand that is ripped off of the shoreline and throw it back onto the beaches here. And in some cases, we may even end up with beaches that are a little bit better than they were before. It's kind of ironic. You lost the land, but maybe the beaches get... Uh, back to where they should be or even a little bit better. So. Yeah, let's hope so because some of those pictures have been frightening over the oh, yeah. last uh, year or so with that erosion and the houses so close. Yeah, but every 30 years certainly learned a lot that that's just a natural cycle that happens over and over again. So we definitely have to have a fix for all of those people with their homes right there. Exactly. And it's not exactly every 30 years, but that was what they found statistically. So hopefully we're going to be in a lull period for a while so people can get back at enjoying the lakes. Cool, cool.